respected elders, dear friends and my dearest children, Namaste. The purpose of our lives is to be happy, says Dalai Lama. You may face many defeats in your lives, but never let yourself be defeated because you are braver than you believe, you are stronger than you think and you are smarter than you seem to be. It is this positive hope, it is this positive thought that keeps you, me and the human race throughout the world get going during this COVID-19 pandemic situation. The entire world has come to a standstill. The enormous scale of crisis and the impact has naturally resulted in a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety across the globe, disrupted family routine and disrupted jobs, an economic downfall, a tremendous setback in educational goals and above all, a negative impact on the mental health of people all over the world. All these issues leaves us with an odd feeling, as if we were stranded in a no man's land, as if we are standing in a dark forest or even as disastrous as moving down in the quicksand. At times we feel we are powerless, we have no control on our own selves. Well, if it is true that human beings are the greatest creations of God Almighty, then it should be true that he or she is bestowed with immense mental strength ever since his or her inception on the earth. It's just that some activation signal should be turned on in the brain. So let us redirect the energy into things we can control over. I would like to share some tips to meet the challenges posed by the dreadly coronavirus in this pandemic situation. Self-help is the best help. So let us prioritize number one self-care as a first module to meet the challenges during this pandemic situation. So here are some suggestions for self-care. Number one, eat a healthy balanced diet. A diet which contains all the essential nutrients to ensure a healthy life. Be conscious of what you eat every day. Make sure you do not overeat in order to cope up with the stressful situation. Number two, make sure you get good quality time of sleep. Number three, Wear your mask, maintain social distancing and sanitize your hands every now and then. These are the dictums which we have been hearing for more than a year. But now, since the corona widespread is to the maximum level, let us make sure that we wear a mask even when you receive a person coming from outside, either carrying your ironed clothes or bringing some groceries. And also make sure that you sanitize the items before you bring them into your home, be it vegetables or any other grocery items. Next, if you are a homemaker, then follow the divide and rule policy. Do not overburden yourself with all the household work. Divide or allot the duties of the household to all the family members so that it would help them to cope up with the time and it would also reduce your burden. Well, the next factor is good exercising. Make sure you do yoga or meditation or any other form of physical exercise that will ensure you to maintain a good health. Approach number two. Focus on your outlook. Be realistic and hope for the best while being prepared even for the worst. If you consider it is difficult to have a positive outlook, then consider the silver lining in this pandemic situation. Ask yourself, what is good about
about what is happening now. What are the opportunities here? Well, if you get some free time, then you can try a new recipe in your kitchen. You can try a artwork or a craft work or even try to do something new in drawing or writing a story or writing a poem. In short, try to have a positive outlook and optimistic outlook in the current scenario. Approach number three, reduce the time on social media usage. There is lot of information in the TV channels and also in social media about COVID-19 pandemic situation. We may be in an urge to know the updates on the recent development of COVID-19. But the more the time you spend with the TV channels or the social media, the more the anxiety that creeps into our brain. So let us be conscious enough to spend less time in the social media about this COVID-19 news and let us look forward for an authentic information probably from World Health Organization. Well, now let's move on to the fourth approach, keeping your environment bright and beautiful. Yes, we spend a lot of time nowadays in our home, so it is worth keeping our place as comfortable as possible. It is also the need of the art to keep our environment clean and hygienic. So, if you are an innovative or creative person, then we can decorate the walls with attractive pictures and interesting photographs. If you are a lover of plants, bring in nature by growing potted plants in your house. It not only adds beauty, but it also enhances air circulation at this moment. Last but not least, approach number five, stay connected with your family and friends. The love of a family is life's greatest blessing. The despair of the COVID-19 pandemic is when we are forced to distance ourselves with our dear ones, even if either of us fall a victim to the coronavirus. Yes, social isolation is the greatest mental challenge to human society at this period of time. The only powerful tool which can be useful is by providing support and reassurance to others around you. You can spend some quality time with those people either through a WhatsApp call or through a video call or a phone call, Twitter or any means of social media can be used for that purpose. So. Kindly enhance the time you spend with your family, your friends and your community. There is no doubt that this is a tough situation. But always remember, tough times do not last forever. There may be times when you may feel lonely, but you are not alone. We are all in this together. So, stay safe, stay healthy and stay happy. Thank you.